What's up, everybody? How you guys doing? We've got Hachiman here up against Anubis. Uh, this is a god that I have never had success on yet, except for my first game ever with him against Rexy's Hachiman, where I was able to win. And that was just like a fun game, but it was a mirror, you know, it doesn't really say too much. It's, you know, it's a mirror of a completely new god. Um, and every other game I've had with him has been so poor. And it's weird, because, like, I love ADCs, you know, I generally do so well with them. But newer gods, I, I generally do struggle with, um... I guess, I don't know, I take shortcuts. Like, I, I barely know what any of the abilities do, and I just kind of jump into it. And I think that's always been my problem uh, with newer gods. You know, I'm lazy with that shit. I don't want to read all this stuff. Wow, look at our clear. Rivaling, no, not even rivaling, but going above and beyond Anubis's. That's fucking sick, dude. That's sick, nasty. Whoop. I know he's going to, like, do back. Easy stuff, dude. Oh, my God. Wow, he got... Pop. Oh, and you know why? It, we shouldn't have beat Anubis. I had a feeling. I'm like, how the fuck can we have beat Anubis? Because he went for the uh, Vamp Shroud start instead of the Bancroft Tier 2. Had he had Bancroft Tier 2, he actually would have definitely outplayed us there. So we kind of got a little lucky there, honestly, because I didn't even check his build. Now, you don't need that many pots on Hachi because of his passive. He gets crazy MP5. Wow, what a great start for us. This is looking like I've been playing Hachi all my life now. A big turnaround from the Hachi of old. Ah, that was very smart. I like that. That adaptation. That doesn't actually hit the tower. It's just shooting him into the wind. Trying to take a shot at him there, but um, we prolong his back is the, is the good thing. Overall, that's definitely a win. Now we want to get this red as quickly as possible so you can't contest it. We ended up getting all of those creeps in mid. Uh, the best thing about Hachiman that I've observed from other people, and like I said, not played uh, myself uh, yet, is his harass. His harass game, hope, is just crazy. He goes above and beyond poke to the point where you have to call it harassment because he just keeps fucking going. Endless shots of his one. The the cooldown on it is is 13 seconds, but it feels like it's just always up. I don't know why. It's not like you're running any cooldown reduction or anything, but you can just keep poking people out with it. And I think it feels like it's uh, hitting you a lot more often because it hits for a lot. It's such a small ability and you think that it's just a little poke, but it's, it's pretty uh, major damage. He's the one, of course, to get the extended autos. Good. Got the damage on him and the back wave there. But we still got to be careful. The, the most awkward thing for me is his ult. And it's actually super bug. Even Anoraxia said it today. That his ult is fucked up. Like, it's, it does not fire the way that it should. Wow. Look at the god damn damn. He knew he was dead there. Smart of him to hold his ult. There's nothing he was going to do there. This guy's a good player, too, and if we're, uh, he just is getting, you know, run over by Hachi's very aggressive early game. I really like this god. He flows so well. He's so fun to play. Like, So I'm happy that I'm actually doing pretty well with him. With this weapon, I have become unstoppable. So his uh, Vamp Shroud thing kind of just like stunted his growth more than anything. I think it's kind of a misplay when Anubis is go for this. I think it just going straight into the Bancrops is the best way to do it. Even though Vamp Shroud is such a great item. Because especially when you're going up against, you know, a god like this who has great lane clear and a lot of uh, harass poke. You're really going to set yourself behind quite a bit as long as he takes the... Uh, the aggressive option that he has open to him. And, you know, I am definitely going to do that. If I get to play him like this all the time, he'll be, like, my favorite hunter. That's what I used to do with Apollo, and that's why I loved Apollo. But now, he's not the same Apollo anymore. He thrives only when you camp. To, like, a crazy extent. Damn. 
Holy shit, I can't believe the ult killed. My god, this guy's just getting caught out right now. And I'm playing it like a Hachi main. Let's save them. Usually I can't hit the ones either, but um, you're hitting some ones. All right, I know I'm talking myself up this game, but I gotta, I gotta talk my Hachi up after what, what he sees. It has not been a, a favored god of mine. I was, you know, relenting um, having to play this game. Uh oh. You still got an ultimate available. But we are completely fine here. Yeah, Hachiman ult is very strong. The damage on it is actually crazy. And I did not realize that. Should definitely back off here, but he he might get greedy. Yeah. Yeah, because like when you're that far behind, sometimes you you feel like you have to get that greedy, you know? And yeah, to, to an extent he does, because you know I'm a hunter, um, and I'm gonna be able to come online strong late game because Hachiman is no pushover by any means. He gets you know very potent attack speed buff during his two, whether he stands in it or not. Good for pestilence. He's got his ult for CC immunity as well. So if um, you know I'm in the middle of his uh, his three and like his ult and everything, I can just quickly ult out to get rid of that slow and just you know quickly escape the ult anyway. The only annoying thing about his ult is that you cannot fire it. Uh, you can't fire it while you're running away. Um, and I guess they did that intentionally because it's kind of already like so disgustingly strong. Not being able to do that and push it over the edge uh, to being way too OP. He might still receive uh, nerfs. He's being played a lot in the uh, SPL right now, in the super regionals. See that damage? Like, uh, that is a good chunk. I mean, he is behind here. But... He still hit for a decent amount there. He didn't heal for much, though, unfortunately, which is probably what he would wanted most. Because, of course, now I can just heal right back up myself. You want to level the uh, the one up to the point where it gets the, um, what's it called? Uh, the fourth shot, so at level three. Uh, and probably prioritize that over the ult, which, you know, I did not. Wow, see that, that damage from him is pretty strong still. That's Anubis, you know, that's Bancroft. He's at a uh, deficit too, so the Bancroft's hitting more. Unfortunately, we did not hit hard enough with that ultimate. I was hoping it would do a little bit more. I figured with the level in it, but... And he's not even got defense, so actually, I don't know, maybe the ult doesn't hit for as much as I thought. Attack here! Damn! Shots! Okay, he's getting a good amount of healing, unfortunately. Guys, yeah, gotta be careful, but so do I. Both of us, you know, giving a lot of respect to each other. He's got his ultimate. If I can Aegis his ultimate out, that'd be fantastic. Wow, the quickness. Hachiman, baby. He's so smooth. He was really afraid because he knew that he needed to wrap me in order to use his ultimate. Even if I committed there with my um, uh, with my dash, he knew that I could still just Aegis it out. So it wasn't worth using his ultimate in that situation. So a lot of times we've just provoked this guy into doing nothing. And, you know, believe it or not, like I said, that actually is the right choice for him there. He doesn't want to waste his abilities. He wants to try to have them up for next time. But there haven't really been any next times. He's just consistently getting pressured too much. I guess we'll go for um, Shield of Thorns now. Sometimes a little iffy on the item on Hunters because they're so squishy. But I'm so ahead now that I think I should be able to fight through him with Shield of Thorns on. Alright, 
Semantic in chat. <laughs> Why are you amazed that Aurelius can ult Neath backflip? I was I was looking for it. I was like, oh, are you gonna say something crazy like Hachiman Dash or something or his horse? That's that's pretty standard stuff. Yeah, she goes into the air. Mm. Ooh, and look at the combo potential here. God damn. Oh, he's dead. Oh, that is so rough. God damn. That was really cool. We were able to shoot off a couple of the ones and then hit him with the uh, with the ult shot and then continue with the other one. The pressure game here has just been way too strong. And I felt this too. I fought against the Hachiman myself and was just like blown away by how much he was able to do. This is definitely his strong suit. And that's something that I love, you know. I love playing up. So, could be really good. I forget if he has an ult. He's like never used it. Ooh, but he does nothing right now. He is so far behind. I've never been tickled by an Anubis ult like that in my life. God damn, that's unfortunate for him. He's got no pen. You know he's going to keep going here. Like I said, you know, in desperate times. Always remember you can cancel the one if you uh, need to, you know, get the rest of the shots up in time and An excellent choice. Uh, attack the towers, most importantly. Your middle tower is under attack. It was building standard. It's all good stuff. Although he went, she was a focus instead of pen boots while he was this far behind. And in that position, I, w I would always go pen boots because I, I mean, I go it in general here after the Bancrofts because uh, I know I'm getting the breastplate. But, you know, that's a stylistic thing. A lot of people love going uh, cooldown boots there instead anyway. But I think, especially from behind, you kind of need it. Otherwise, his ult just isn't going to be strong enough. <laughs> Alright, listen, it had like a weird angle to it. It looked weird to me. One thing I definitely got to get better at is uh, landing that stun with his three, though. That's, you know, it's a huge one. But it's also, you know, you're, you're full committing when you're doing that, so. Be careful about how you do it. Mmm. Ooh. Got him. Three out of four. Not bad. This guy letting us play target practice right here. I would Damn, I was really helping you at all. He did not. He's still coming. Right there. We're getting a lot of healing here. He's trying to get some healing of his own. Not sure why he just used his one. Maybe miss input. All right. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough. That ults. Uh, just off. At least we haven't missed any ults. I, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's bugged. It sometimes misses the ult, and it makes no sense. And Adaraxi said the exact same thing. There's, like, a hidden spot of it that it doesn't hit, and it needs to be fixed for sure. All right, I'm going to back and get my chins. With this weapon, I have become unstoppable. When you are so far ahead that you can stand in front of an Anubis and lazy back, knowing that he can't kill you. Oh, man. This definitely does not happen often. He's finally getting his pen. Probably going to um, Spear the Magus here. As I'm only going to be going one defense item. Oh, I wanted that stun. He was really quick, too. He used his three at the same time. Holy shit, we are shredding him. With Chins finished, we're just so far ahead of him in terms of build. There's no way he can fight back into this. <laughs> just try to back him up. Ah, but I'm still gonna get hit by one. Ooh, we're good. We're good. 
I am so surprised to not see an F6 here yet. Also, where did the music go? Like, this entire game? I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. I was just feeling it, you know? Oh, no. This has been another musicless segment with then right Shadow. Also, this was one of my only vids uh, that didn't have a theme. So this will happen from time to time. I'm going to keep up the, uh, you know, little uh, side ventures. But at the same time, there has got to be, um, you know, some that, that aren't. Because I don't want to keep it too... Uh, uh, what's the word? Mm, too scheduled, I guess. We need some chaos. A break in the order. The fall of the Jedi. Alright, ready? What are we going? Poison Star? Poison Star is real good for late, especially against Anubis. Frostbound would shit on him, though. With this weapon, I have become unstoppable. How you doing, crazy? All right, reds up. To be honest, I was nervous going about against this guy. So like I said, he's generally pretty strong, and um, my my dude here has not been showing up. But this is definitely not the outcome that I. Uh, Look at this, we are fast as fuck. Look how much time we have. He's on the horse forever. My god. Oh, that stun didn't hit? I don't get the stun, man. It's over, Billy. God damn, that was a really long wrap. He definitely leveled it. And it paid off for him. Oh, I'm sad. That would have made such a cool kill. Ride in on the horse. Whoa, see what I'm saying? Like, he's good, dude. I've never seen that before. I didn't even know you could fucking do that. This guy just wrapped as he turned the corners. There's literally no frames in which I could see him and move. That was quick wit. Hmm, should we get the Aegis or the Shield of Thorns upgrade? Shield of Thorns affects the lifesteal a lot, so I'd say go that. I had to hit both the dash and the circle. Yeah, but I thought I did that. Hachiman's passive. Passive? Oh, no, he got me because Hachiman. <laughs> instead of Hachi. So passive instead of passive. God damn it. Hachi the troll. Hachiman grows stronger as he lands his blows. So basically, he stacks uh, MP5. So that's why you get you get away with going low amount of monopods when you're I go to two monopods instead of the usual four with a blue stone build. Uh, usually only with dust hole build do I go the two. I can hear his like him boarding each time, so like that's always funny. Yeah, you never know, dude. This guy can pull it back. Whoa! I missed all those ones. Oh, does he have a? Oh, oh my god, he does. The cavalry is gonna have to come and save us. Oh shit! Good rap. See, he's he's here to play. He's certainly not giving up. It makes it so hard to get his phoenix, but I think we got it finally. I will go down for it. I'm fine with that. He's still got to take my tower. He might be able to take phoenix. Mm. I don't know. I think it'll be close. Let's see. He's got um, Spear instead of Obsidian, so there's that. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments down below. <laughs> Alright, um, yeah, see, it's taking him a while. There we go, there we go, Hachi. Alright, so worth. We'll take that. Take this. And I'll take the pot. Since the Aegis is down. Alright, so like I said, Frostbound should work out really well. But, um, while we're sieging, Frostbound isn't the best. So, might have hurt us. The, mostly, I think what hurt us was just him coming online. Starting to hit a little bit. And me being way too carefree because of the lead that we've 
accumulated here. But it could all fall, you know, all apart in like a second. Anubis has the same kind of ability like uh, hunters do to just end games. He's got a blue, uh, red buff here, so we gotta be careful of that for sure. He doesn't have a rod yet. Anubis, of course, also very good at uh, holding the Titan. Jesus, dude, this guy's raps are insane. But Hachi is out. That's such a cool ult. It's really fun to ride on that horse. They did a good job with that, the way it feels. Alright, fuck Frostbound at this particular moment. Um, I'm thinking we should go Toxic. It'll help us a lot. Because he's been very reliant on his um, on his life steal. And of course the Toxic also gives you some movement speed, which is great. Helps you juke a little bit better. Uh, gives you the health as well. Some penetration. It's like a jack of all trades. Even though, I mean, those are little additions to its passive, which is the most important part of it. It's a jack of all side dishes. Wow. Like that. Wow. Get yeah, shit on, my god. Alright, that's hype. Now we can definitely take this down. Oh, it's taking too long. He's here. Oh my god, I had my wrong one up. Oh no. Oh shit, and I popped my ages. God damn it. Oh, I can't believe it. How come I have no... Oh, he has Divine Ruin on me. Oh, I can take this up. Can I? Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> oh, god damn. Alright. Alright. Maybe Beat Stick. Maybe beat stick. This is always the awkward part for hunters because there are a variety of items you can go now, which is a cool thing because you can change it up a little bit. Um, but I think beat stick will probably be the best since I'm going for the long range poke with my two. And having the little bit of more solid pen should work out. We'll see how it goes. He's got his rod finish and everything, and he's probably going to take down this uh, Phoenix. He doesn't do too much damage to it, though. Yeah, okay, he's dipping. Uh, like I said, the Spear of the Magus, it ain't no shard. It's not doing nearly as much. But yeah, he's just landing all of his wraps, and I don't have beads. It's the most important thing here. And that's like I said, why uh, fear going the Shield of Thorns. Aegis is great for the early game. It falls off, though. Um, I guess I should have just gone beads first instead of Aegis. Preparation, but Shield of Thorns hasn't helped me much in general anyway. Wow, BS. That's that down, which is very good for us. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> wow, dude, the, the catch. Super unfortunate for him. Oh, okay, well, these guys aren't gonna let me in. Thanks. But, um, okay, yep, no, um, yeah. <laughs> Why did they get out of the way, dude? Those are the best creeps I've ever seen. They straight up just super body blocked me. I think we might still win, though, is this super troll thing. I don't know how low my creeps are. Oh, my God, they're, they're shitting on it. It's, it all comes down to this. No, the other creeps that come. That's always what happens. The other creeps. Son of a bitch. I'm so pissed, dude. They blocked... First of all, they body blocked the Titan perfectly so that all of my ones were hitting the creeps instead of the Titan. And then they completely body blocked my safe passage home. That was some bullshit. That was funny. He was hiding on the side of the wall. I just couldn't get that angle I needed. 
I like his uh, recolor, by the way, more than his base skin. I don't know. I don't like either of them that much. I'd definitely rather see a uh, a good skin come out for him soon. I don't know if he's getting an Odyssey skin. But what a nutty match. It looked like it was great. I don't get it. He's hitting those. They don't look like they're hitting. Jesus, he's really good with them, though. Uh-oh. Jesus, he's crazy. He knows I'm here, so he's probably going to throw one over the wall. Yep. Alright. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm onto his strategy. He just shoots exactly where, where you're going to be over the wall. I don't know how the fuck he knows. Axe. But he immediately shoots where you're going to be over that wall as soon as you peek your head out. So you just got to give him the juke. Okay, that's a shell. So big win for us. Uh, red buffs up. Definitely got to take this down. I can't pick it up, but we need him to not be able to pick it up either. A good idea of him to try to wrap me while I'm trying to get my uh, and my one uh, to fire right there, you know, and I'm doing that target practice. Look how well he's clearing. Oops. Fuck. Complete fat finger. Oh, that's not good. This is such a strange game, dude. I feel like so many weird things are happening. Where did the rest of my one go there? Did you like end me while I was channeling it or something? Ugh. Come on, horsey! Holy shit! You gotta be kidding me. He's so awkward to handle that I like was like bumping against all the walls. It's like one of those challenges in Mario in uh Odyssey or any Mario game, even fucking Sunshine, where you go on like those squids and stuff, and it's never, it's never easy. Give you these awkward ass controls. That's what his horse feels like. A side, side uh, mission in Mario. Elixir of Defense. Yes. We don't want to get one shot. It's gonna all come down to a wrap. Okay, he's looking forward around the corners. This goes for the insta wraps. So you just gotta bait him out. Give him what he wants. And then take it away. Real quick. Look how fast I attack. Holy shit, I got so scared that I popped the pot. Holy crap. We almost have our ages back up, that's good. How many wraps does this guy have? God damn, every two seconds, dude. You insane. Jesus. Ah, close. No cigar for either of us. He's been able to just skirt outside my range. God damn! Two autos absorbed by that shell. Ah, uh, and he's getting life steal big time. And I didn't get much because I had divine on me. Fuck. 
Oh my god, get back. Right, oh fuck. Those ones are hard to hit when you're like under pressure like that. Also, I think he was like skirting slightly outside of my range. We gotta be careful because he's probably got his ult back up. I'd imagine that's the only reason he's sticking around. Back here. Okay, good shot. Uh, I don't know if he threw it actually. He might have tricked me there. This is so not even the right music for this, <laughs> this scenario. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Get a pot. Get some of these. Everything in the build I think is perfect. We just have to be super careful not to get wrapped. I've died twice to my own goddamn devices. Just warded here. Jesus, what is that? Ooh, shred him up. Thank God, we finally got the bait of the. Sh Century off, man. Holy shit. We shred him from afar with those four fire autos. And then hit him with a big horse, man. Get right up in his face. Because he was too low at that point. There's a certain, you know, point for Anubis where if he's, like, at this, if you are this high, you cannot ride the, you know? Um, if he's at that threshold, then I can just kill him. With that thorns. Straight up. God damn though, the creeps, man. We're really we're not gonna be able to end. I can't believe they were this far behind. This is the beginning of the end for you. Your team has destroyed the middle. Only the beginning of the end, that's the problem. I have to play it solidly this time and not fuck it up. Most importantly. And the big thing there was the, the defense pot, you know. When I when I know I have defense pot as well into him. So we gotta refresh that pot because it's about to run out. Oh, he's probably, yeah, he's going for another red buff. God damn it. I should have realized it was coming up. I'm much better on my timers in non-YouTube. Because <laughs> I'm talking, you know, it's hard to remember your timers while talking. I can do a lot of things well while talking, but remember my, my buff timers is probably the hardest one. but we're getting a lot of damage in on this thing. Oh, he stopped, but I think he actually would have won off of that. Oh, <laughs> what a game. Very fucking strange. I don't know how that went from 5-0 to, well, still 7-2. Like, if you look at the numbers, it was a dominating performance. Beautiful, but uh, holy shit. That's what I'm talking about though. Anubis is scary as shit, dude And especially a very strong Anubis like this guy's with his raps like that was some crazy shit But all in all ended up in a win GG Hachiman's fun, dude. I like him a lot